Okay, so Dame Dash was on this podcast. I think it's called Value Tainment. And he was talking about Puffy and Biggie copy Rockefeller. If this isn't the biggest form of cap I've ever heard. For so for, for many reasons being Big and Puff were huge in New York City. We talking from 94 to 97. They, bad boy had this shit. And it's chokehold when it comes to New York City. Rockefeller, if anything, tried to copy Puff. Going back to the sound, like the 1997 album, In My Lifetime. We ain't gonna, I'm like, come on. Even Jay himself got a lot of Big's lyrics. I ain't never heard that before. I ain't never heard Biggie and Puffy copy number. They, they were the, they was running New York City number one. They was running New York City. We talking about the charts. We talking about mainstream appeal, the streets, all that. Jay Z at the time was still underground. So how big? He, and then he know he changed himself to Frank White around 1994, 95. Jay Z was not around. He was rapping that I can't get with that. I stick it to the day, stick it to the day, big up the day, big up the day. The Rockefeller image didn't come to fruition really till like the late late 96, 97. But Bad Boy was already on top of the charts. So I don't understand where Dame is coming from with this at all. Anybody would tell you. They use the bad boy sound. They try to monitor the bad boy sound, but it didn't work for them. They try to go the commercial Jiggy route for the Sunshine video. Then they had bad boy producing half of the, um, not half, but some of the tracks on the end of my lifetime. So we all know that's cap anyway. These guys get on these platforms, these podcasts. And just say anything. See, they go to this guy here because he don't really know too much about hip hop. There's a reason why these guys do not go on certain platforms anymore because they can't spew their nonsense. And there's not a disrespect to Dame Dash per se, but we all know this is cap right here. Because if anything, Jay was pattering behind Biggie. The whole ashy, the clashy. Biggie gave the ugly dudes more of a look. Jay basically patterned that. So, again, these dudes get on these podcasts and just say whatever. And that's why, in a way, and I'm not talking about Dane per se, they don't want to go on real radio shows or interviews because they're not going to pull that stuff on us. We lived it in real time. We lived it and seen it, been through the shows, met the people, the whole nine yards. So, that's what I'm saying about that, man. So, that whole thing is cap, man. If you really want to look at it, just look at the timeline itself. If anything, even Nas called him out saying, yo, you you and, you, you, you and um, Jay was copying Biggie and Dang. Oh, you Biggie and he's Puffy. Yeah. So don't try to re- rewrite the narrative, man. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Subscribe to the like button, please.